Hey guys, finally we have got the Android Nougat on our Galaxy J7 2016 and this is not the official from Samsung. This is official from Samsung but not for the J7 2016. This is for the J7 Next which is ported by a developer to the J7 2016 and the ROM is called as Nemesis Nougat ROM. So in this video I'm going to review that and tell you to install this ROM for sure. So let's start without wasting more time. So guys we are getting Samsung experience issue which will not be present in the official no cut update so let's go to about phone and go to software information and here we can see Samsung experience uh, version 8.1 going to Android version it's 7.0 no cut okay so Galaxy J7 X has got 7.0 and also the asset has got 7.0 so that will be a good thing uh, okay our J7 has also got the Android 7.0 now. Now you can see the Nougat cards and it's really snappy if you try it with many of the apps like I will open some of these apps and we can see the new animations we are getting in these apps also the apps are fully new as you can see it's a custom ROM and we are getting all Nougat stuff here it's really cool to handle this device now it's really fast than the stock marshmallow this is a stock Nougat only for this now let's talk about the new features going to sound and vibration we get a default volume key control so like when you people uh, control the volume key sometimes if you're playing music it may go to the ringtone but now you can set it to media to directly control the media volume so that that will be really easy like don't not clicking again two three times here we get some new sounds and ringtones too from the asset to going to the display we get blue light filter but it is not working now because i think it requires some uh, changes here. Yeah. The main feature is screen zoom and font. I really love this. You can increase the screen zoom. This is like the DPI only. This is the uh, font size and these are the two fonts available. Okay, I have not tried the font mod on this. this it will uh, really work like it's only APK. I will leave it down below in the description if you want those really, all those fonts. And we also the home screen settings is the asset launcher settings only. Touch with launcher settings icon frames you can set anything status bar we get uh, show recent notification only and show battery percentage screen timer also is uh, fixed at the last 10 minutes and i'll keep it at 5 minutes it should be like 15 to 15 minutes too it may be good uh, but not samsung is not going to the advanced features we are getting games the game launch and game tools finally uh, without any like uh, other custom roms and lock and mask apps mask app means it will hide the app also and it will not give notification one two three four it will also not give the notification so i will try like masking the okay add it and you just need to simply add here any of these apps which you're on i only downloaded these three apps that's why it's saying to me so you can mask any of the apps and notifications will be muted you can lock it to your app lock type locked app mask apps you can select according to your choice multi window multi window is fully working as you can see if you press this button and here more apps you can see all of these apps are supporting the multi window here is some settings too and it will take you to the multi window only so it's like okay now again moving to the settings okay what happened okay again moving into the settings and okay we have a full screen yeah now and going to the device maintenance now so i'm roughly getting 800 to 900 mb between uh, free ram and mostly i get 820 or 830 mb free let's see what we get now i only installed three apps that why but you may get a low or high i don't know according to your performance or it may be and uh, so I'm getting a 772 MB. This may happen because uh, sometimes it may like uh, take the memory and your apps may be running and so you need to quit all of the apps. Lock screen security we get all these things and also I think the direction lock is present in the accessibility settings. Here we go direction lock. Yes the direction lock is also present now so that is very good. Now we are getting all of this with the Android no cut update before we are getting like all these features with the marshmallow and really good we can see the model number J701F. So this was the review short review of the uh, Nemesis no cut port for the Galaxy J7 2016 and 
I hope you will uh, really enjoy this ROM and install this. So let's move to the installation now and this is a really awesome ROM so please press the thanks button uh, in the XDA thread and also the like button for this video too. So now let's move to the installation of this ROM. To install this ROM you don't need root access also after installation I also not rooted this device. So now after in, uh, for the installation just power off your device you just need the TWRP recovery installed and press the volume up button the home button and the power button to boot into the TWRP recovery mode. And yes, also do not flash any custom kernels which are present on XDA for this ROM because it uses its own like the uh, JSON 101 kernel I think. Now first go to backup if you have an older ROM and you like to stay on Marshmallow only so backup this. Now go to wipe and advanced wipe uh, Dalvik system data and cache. No need to flash inter uh, wipe internal storage or micro SD card. Now let's go again back and going to install, just install this Nemesis J7. So it will take some time to install so I will skip that part. So guys as you can see the installation is successful just you need to reboot your device and the first boot is really fast normally. Uh, if you see it's really fast like I booted like in some like one minute or less only because it was really fast I think you should test it by yourself and you're getting the asset boot animation which is a new Samsung boot animation so guys if you really like this video press the like button and if not press the dislike button also the feedback and comments will be in the comment section below and if you want the anti to score I will post it down below in the comment section because I have reset it now I will also to go to Google account and do all the stuff so I will uh, drop it down and write it down below in the description. So guys, bye and thanks for watching this video. And please get subscribed until watch uh, until I upload a new video. So goodbye guys. I will see you in the next one. Till then, please subscribe and bye.